Hi, everyone. Lindsay Lachelle, Open Lines Marketing. Um, continuing my conversation about delegation, um, I want to lay out today my four guiding philosophies for successful delegation. They are really not that different from like guiding philosophies for all uh, life, human relationships, etc. cetera. Um, but many of us forget these things when we are in a work context. For some reason, there's a professionalism that um, might separate us from from this type of place, um, this type of approach. A lot of times I'm guessing it's got to do with our uh, just fear, right? Fear of being seen or fear of not being seen or whatever, um, fear of, um, you know, messing up. I'll say, speak for myself. Um, so here we go, ready? Four things. Number one, proactive be proactive in our communication. If you can see the train wreck coming and you can prevent it, raise a flag, raise a hand, get in there. If you can be proactive and especially if you can be proactive with a solution, right? Hey, I see that I'm going to have too much on my plate to get this thing done on time. Can we renegotiate a deadline? Can we renegotiate a delivery or scope, right? Be proactive. Don't show up with it being late. Instead, get in touch ahead of time. Okay, that's number one. Number two, be honest. Just tell the truth. I missed it. I forgot. I didn't understand how long it was going to take me. Whatever it is, just tell the truth. Honesty, even when it's bad news. Every, every one of us who serves who works in a service-based, uh, especially a B2B services-based organization, right? We all know that being honest is often more important to our client relationships than being right. Um, and so I just want to like raise that. Okay, be proactive, be honest. Number three, be clear, right? Brene Brown says clear is kind. When I say be clear, what I mean is number one, don't make assumptions. And number two, don't take shortcuts. When you are communicating with somebody else, it is so important to be explicit about what you expect, about what you need, about where you're at in getting this work done, whatever it is. Proactive, honest, clear. And the last one, be curious. Keep an open mind and ask questions. If you're the asker, then you're asking questions about what they need, how they can get it done, why they didn't get it done on time. If we're, if we're troubleshooting, we'll get there, right? But genuinely curious about how did this thing evolve? Keep an open mind and ask questions because you will find it's so much easier to build trust and close the loop and get something, something done in a productive way. Okay, one more time. Be proactive, be honest be clear and be curious. And if your organization does not currently support those things from a cultural standpoint, that's your first step. If you can't have those things, healthy delegation, healthy communication is out of reach. It's really far. It's really hard to do without these things. Okay. I love those. They're just like rules to live by, but you know, in the context of delegation. So awesome. Hope everybody's having a great day and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.